Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nancy and today we are going to stamp out this brand new Kitchen Sink Stamps Multi-Step Artichoke Set. As you can see, it comes with a large and a small layered artichoke. Um, the small one has four layers, the large one has five, as well as some fun punny sentiments to go with that. So bon appetit, my heart is yours, you're in my mind and in my heart, arch, artichoke. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. And then you have two tiny, or sorry, one little tiny, just a little shadow artichoke. So let's get into stamping this. I've already moved my photopolymer stamps onto the layering guide. When you get these, they are sandwiched between two clear pieces of acetate. I always like to put mine on my layering guide so I know which layers go where. And included are always layering guide instructions so that you can see what to line up. But this is pretty easy to do. You can also check the Kitchen Sink Stamps website and blog so that you can get ink color recommendations from different manufacturers. For today's demonstration, I will be using the Catherine Pooler inks. We're going to use our mini misty to line up and we're going to start with the larger one. I'm going to start with the most solid layer which is 1A and the first color I'm going to use is garden party. Kitchen sink stamps are manufactured here in the United States. They are high quality photopolymer stamps. They are not silicone stamps. And with the purchase of every kitchen sink stamps, you have the option to download the free electronic SVG file, which is your electronic die cutting file. And when you download it at the time of purchase, it is free. It will show up as a dollar in your basket. And when you check out, it will be free. You have 30 days to download it to your computer. If you do not download it within 30 days or maybe you forgot to put it in your basket, you can go back and purchase it later. It's about, um, it's a dollar, 99 cents, I believe. So for the second layer, we're just lining up the outside layer of the artichoke, not the stem, but the outside of the artichoke itself. Second layer ink, I'm going in with Lime Ricky. I love how these stamps start to layer up and they look so realistic, very 3D. I mean, people are very surprised when they get a Kitchen Sink Stamps card because they wonder how you did it and they, they can't help but touching the image because it just pops out. All right, for this layer, this is the third layer. We're gonna light, line up the right side here where you can see the notches and the grooves in the artichoke. That's what you wanna use as your guide on this one. So can you see that? We're just gonna slide that in to place. For our third color, we are going to use grass skirt. And again, feel free to experiment with the inks that you have in layering. It doesn't have to be the same brand. Use what you have. I've mixed up Altenu, Stampin' Up, Catherine Pooler, Ranger inks. The only inks I don't recommend are the Distress inks, not the Distress Oxides, but the regular Distress inks. And that's because they tend to beat up. They're not a really good stamping ink. They're good for um, um, if you're doing any kind of technique. That's what they're good for. Okay, for layer four, same kind of thing. We're going to line up this outside edge over here. We're going to use green tea. Now, I've already stamped this out once, but if it's your first time using the stamp set, you may want to prime your stamps before putting your color on and using some Versamark watermark ink. This will help prevent your stamps from staining as bad and also help the stamps absorb the ink a little better so that you get less pooling of the ink on the actual stamp. You only have to do that your first time using them. Look at all of that dimension, you guys. 
Okay, then the last layer is the fifth layer. Now this layer is a little bit tricky because what you're doing is you're actually going to be putting in the shadow between this layer and this layer. So you wanna look at this line here and try to line those shadows up as close as possible to those areas. Correct. And for the last layer, I'm using eucalyptus. And there we have it. And then as that dries, it will even out and dry back. Let's go in with the little guy. We're going to use the same colors. So layer one, garden party. And again, for layer two, I'm just lining up the entire outside of the artichoke. Lime Ricky. Layer three, again, lining up this right side outer edge. Third color is grass skirt. And then he only has four layers, so this is our last layer. And again, I'll line up the right side here. green tea. There we go. And we have some fun, playful sentiments. Again, we have thank you from the bottom of my heart, which is here. Bon Appetit, My Heart is Yours, You're on My Mind and In My Heart, and Artichoke. Let me just stamp out that artichoke. Put that here. And this makes a fun little note card. What's fun about using a stamp positioner, you can see I don't have enough ink on the beginning of that stamp. You can go back in and re-ink it and stamp it again. There we go. If you have any questions about any of the products that I've used, I will link them down below in the description for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider. You can purchase these stamps from Kitchen Sink Stamps. Again, don't forget to put the SVG in your basket before you check out. That'll electronically die cut out 
your shapes for you so you don't have to purchase dies they don't sell dies so you're going to save a little bit of money you're definitely going to save some space and you can use it with your electronic die cutting machines such as the Cricut the Brothers Scan and Cut the Silhouette machine and as well as the Cricut Joy thanks for watching guys and keep on stamping bye bye